guys. Another day, another adventure. In this episode, I'm visiting my friend Elijah in Silver City, New Mexico. We're going to spend some time checking out the town, and then we're going to do an exciting hike up to the Gila Cliff Dwellings. It's a short and sweet trip that turned out to be a lot better than expected. And let's get a little introduction here, guys. I made it to Silver City. There's my buddy Matthew here. What's up? We're here at his house. I'm gonna do some exploring, but I'm gonna go in and just, you know, say what's up to his peeps and stuff and see what we can get into. So this is it, Silver City, New Mexico. There isn't much going on out here, but it's peaceful. And it was a nice break from life on the road for a few days. I spent the night catching up with Elijah and his family. And then we woke up the next morning to check out the town for a bit. Silver City is a very small town resting in a valley that was once an Apache campsite. With the arrival of the Spaniards, the area became known for its copper mining. Silver City was officially founded in the summer of 1870, shortly after the discovery of silver ore deposits at Chloride Flat. Okay guys, it's a new day here. Um, we are headed to the Gila Cliff Dwellings. I think it's gonna be about an hour, hour and a half drive. Um, we're all packed up, ready to go. Ready to go? Yep. <laughs> all right, so I'm excited. Some ancient Native American dwellings um, here near Silver City, New Mexico. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head out and I'll check in with you guys and see how this goes. All right, guys, we are here. I'm just parking, gonna check out the little visitor center up there and then check out the cliff dwellings and then do our hike. So it looks good though, I like it. say I was very impressed with the cliff dwellings. They're extremely well preserved and much bigger than I expected and I had no idea that they would actually let you go inside and explore the spaces yourself. guys so done with the gila cliff dwellings that was impressive that was a lot more than i expected um i'm really surprised they let people walk in them and actually go and explore the dwellings themselves um more than what i expected so that was fun um we're gonna head back to the car and then i have a little uh i'm gonna pick a few things up and then there's a short hike that's right over there that we're gonna check out so yeah we're just gonna keep it going 
impressed with both of them. This and the burger. It's always nice. This is a nice place to take a shower, though. Yeah, we can hang out here. There's no, no need to rush. It was a nice little hike. It took us about four miles into the valley near the cliff dwellings. There wasn't that much to see, but it was a beautiful day nonetheless. Guys, it's a new day here. I forgot to check in with you in the morning. I was busy uh, running some errands and packing things up. So I am leaving Silver City now. I'm on my way to uh, Bandelier. National Park, I hope that's how you say it. Um, I'll put it in the link in the description below. Um, it's about a five hour drive, so I am hitting the road. It's a little past 9.30. Um, I should get there or close to three, so I'm gonna try and get there, reserve my campsite, and do a short little hike, because I'm only gonna be there for the, the afternoon and the night. Um, and then I'm headed up to Imogene Pass, which I'm super excited about, um, in Colorado. So um, I'm on the road now. Just getting going here out of Silver City, so I will keep you guys posted and let you know how everything goes.